Everton and Nottingham Forest have both been charged with breaching Premier League profitability and sustainability rules. Carve Solikol is here. Carve, there's a lot to this story, of course, in the simplest terms, if you can. Start by explaining how we've got to, to this point this evening. Well, we've got to this point because uh, the Premier League have released a statement and the wording of it is very interesting uh, because it starts off by saying that the two clubs, Everton and Nottingham Forest, have basically admitted to breaking uh, the Premier League's financial rules. Now, what we're going to have is two separate independent commissions and those independent commissions are going to act pretty quickly because these rules are new and they are streamlined. And this is all uh, part of a sort of fast-track process because what the Premier League wants to make sure is that if there are any fines, any points deductions, uh, those are in season. So any... Uh, points deductions will be for this season. And the process is going to be very fast. I think uh, the Commission uh, will hear the case. The case will last between one to five days. But we should have a decision within 12 weeks. So I think early April we will get a decision and then the clubs will have a chance to appeal as well if they want to and the appeal has to be heard uh, and concluded and we'll have the final decision uh, by May the 24th which I think is five days after the season has ended. I think looking at the statements today from Everton and Nottingham Forest as well, interesting how they've responded. Understandably, Everton are very, very upset. Their statement was very strongly worded, whereas Nottingham Forest, I felt, was far more conciliatory uh, in tone. Let's uh, major in on Everton here. Of course, they are already appealing against that 10-point deduction they were hit with in November. Uh, just explain how it is that they can be charged again when that still has not been concluded. Well, uh, what the Premier League's rules say is that over a three-year cycle, uh, you must not lose more than £105 million. Now, in November, uh, Everton were obviously deducted 10 points for losing more than the permitted £105 million over a three-year cycle. And on December the 31st, they submitted their accounts for last season. So we're into a new three-year cycle. And, of course, some of the seasons overlap with the previous three-year cycle for which they've already been deducted 10 points. And you're completely right. You know, it, it is curious. You could look at it as being punished twice for the same offence. But I think what the Premier League uh, would say is, look at our rules, look at our, uh, the wording of the rules in our handbook, and it makes it clear uh, that you have to be compliant with the rules over a three-year cycle. And it looks like Everton haven't been compliant with the rules over two three-year cycles. And, of course, unfortunately, some of those seasons within that cycle overlap. Now, I think the good news, if there is any good news in this for Everton at all, is that they have uh, the opportunity to fight their case at these tribunals. There's going to be an appeal for the 10-point deduction and there is going to be a new independent commission as well. So if Everton feel that the rules are wrong and judging by their statement they do, they will be able to uh, argue their case. I think the best case scenario uh, as far as these clubs are concerned, I feel, would be fines. Because really what you don't want is a points deduction. And I think if you're an Everton fan this evening, of course, you will be upset, you will be very angry, uh, you will feel that you are being kicked when you're already down. Uh, but you just have to trust in the process and you have to trust uh, in the lawyers who are going to be representing you and presenting your case, both at the appeal and also the new independent commission. On Nottingham Forest, as you say, it's over a three-year period, these accounts. Only one of those seasons were their Premier League club. How, how does that impact on the situation for them? Well, I think, uh, as far as they're concerned, their permitted losses were lower uh, than £105 million over the three-year cycle because, as you say, they were in the EFL uh, for part of that cycle. Again, Nottingham Forest fans will be saying this evening, look, have we done that much wrong? Are we really gaining an unfair advantage over other teams in the Premier League? Because basically what happened is that we were promoted through the playoffs. Uh, 
uh, and we spent a lot of money in the transfer market because we wanted to make sure that now that we're in the Premier League, we stay in the Premier League. So, yes, they have spent a lot of money on transfers, I think something like £200, £250 million. Pounds. They haven't made very much money from selling any players. They haven't recouped that much money. They did sell Brennan Johnson, but that was after this accounting period closed. So I think they will have some very strong arguments to make in front of the Commission as well. And I think they will be hoping that if they are found guilty, uh, they will be hit with a fine and not a points deduction. And just finally for now, there'll be people watching, and I know this regards accounts that went in on December the 31st, and yet, what, just over two weeks later here, we have Premier League charges levelled against these two clubs. And yes, and yet, people will ask, Manchester City's case has been well known for many, many months, years, and Chelsea, we know and have known for a while, are being investigated, but there's no further news on those two teams yet. What, just explain why that is. Well, because they're totally different cases. Uh, I think as far as Manchester City's case is concerned, they deny any wrongdoing whatsoever. Uh, they were hit with 115 charges. They are going to uh, defend uh, themselves against those charges. There is no um, evidence out in the public domain that uh, Manchester City would say this proves that we are guilty. Far from it. They say we have done nothing wrong. But it is a hugely complex case. And I know... Uh, maybe it feels like there's not a lot going on as far as that case is concerned, but there is a lot going on uh, behind closed doors. But the charges go back all the way to 2009. Uh, so I think it's unfair to compare Manchester City's case uh, to Everton and Nottingham Forest today. I think you mentioned Chelsea as well. A lot of people have talked about the fact that Chelsea have spent so much money, I think almost uh, a billion euros on players over three transfer windows. But sometimes people forget that Chelsea have also recouped a lot of money from selling players. I think they've uh, raised something like £500 million from selling players as well. But the bottom line is all these clubs had to submit their accounts uh, to the Premier League for this uh, new cycle and they were all fine. They all passed, apart from, on the face of it, Everton and Nottingham Forest. And just finally on this, and this is asking for your best guess, I suppose, when we talk about potential punishments, these are only charges at the moment, but given that Everton were given a 10-point deduction for their initial charge, you mentioned fines, how much of a bearing will that particular sanction have on, on these charges? Um... I don't think the, the commission that will hear these new charges will be a new commission. It won't be the same three people uh, who heard uh, th the previous case. I still think, for what it's worth, my personal opinion, I still think there's a good chance uh, that uh, Everton may be successful in some part in their appeal and that 10-point deduction uh, may be changed. And I also still think there's a good chance that Everton may be able to uh, present such a strong case in this new commission that they won't face a points deduction. But, of course, if you're an Everton supporter, it doesn't matter what I feel or what my personal opinion is. At the moment, you're looking at the league table, you're looking at all the problems on and off the pitch at the club, and you're thinking, what is going on? Why does it look like the Premier League have it in for us? Why does it look like they're kicking us when we're already down?